Soldat! You've arrived. I sense there's a great deal to uncover here. It's as I thought. Spirits cling to practically every stone up here. Some more sociable than others. One in particular. It feels welcoming, but old, wary. Have a look around. With any luck, at least one of these entities will present itself. Hmm, some kind of... 
Brigitte eat children's tale? You know better than that, Witch of Azura. Greetings, spirit. We've come in good faith. Very well. Who is this youth who travels with you, I wonder? Come, child. Let all the Maza Miri have a look at you. Trespass or a pilgrim? <laughs> Both, I think. But you walk this path aimlessly, child. I am Maza Miri, clan mother of the Hidden Moon. Why are you here, I wonder? <laughs> Too late for that. Our wards flicker and fade. My children all lie dead. No one and nothing remains to stop our own call. We failed. I failed. Even if a champion emerged to wield the Moonlight Blade, the hour is too late. Azura's Sword of the Faithful. Oof, you know nothing of our ways, child. Even so, I see strength in you, and great deeds in your wake. Hm. Read the stones that still stand here. We will see if your mind and spirit are as keen as your blades. How would you know what to ask? You know nothing. Just read the stones, child. The only people more impatient than the very young are the very old. And Mazamiri is very old indeed. Deeds now, questions later. form of necromancy here, pressing the souls of their corrupted kin into service so that they might be redeemed. Fascinating. acted as soul shepherds, ushering true souls to paradise and bent souls to this great darkness. Hmm, quite a task. themselves with defending the liminal border between this world and oblivion, the lunar lattice, as they saw it. Gatekeepers of a sort. Intriguing. I have more to show you. Do you see now, child? We servants of the Hidden Moon protected and guided the people's souls. Both true souls and bent, guardians and redeemers. Now, all that remains of our order are old stones and old spirits. Spirits like me. Azura's twilight path, the path to love and redemption, is fraught with perils and temptations. I thought I prepared our adepts to face the darkness without falling to it. I failed. Our own call is the result. Ah, how easy you make it sound. You may know that the dust storm will tear down your house, but knowledge alone will not beat back the wind. A wise corpse is no less dead. Come, Mazamiri will teach you one last lesson.
Now for the story no teaching stone can tell. Varun Kaul served our order for many years as our greatest champion. But as his power grew, so did his pride. In time, he renounced his faith in Azura and turned to the dark path. The way of the Thromatra. Many adepts fell under his sway, and the order collapsed into civil war. The battle sundered the temple blighted the canyon below. He triumphed in the end, but Arun Kaur would not die. He fled, seeking refuge in one of his orbs. We locked the orbs away, but now our wards grow brittle, and Arun Kaur prepares to emerge once again. Only a warrior of the Hidden Moon can end this, and only with the powers of the Moonlight Blade. Make no mistake, child. Arum calls power and hatred have only grown since we first locked him away. The remnants of our order spent their waning years looking for a way to destroy him permanently. We found one, but it carries great risk. It is more than a blade. It is a gateway, a path. A key, a sacred tool of our order, given to us by Azura herself. Perhaps you can bear this weapon's weight. Perhaps not. This calls for another test, I think. Only a handful of adepts have ever held the Moonlight Blade, and each of them possessed a wheel of iron. I need to know your quality. I will conjure dark spirits in the next chamber. Banish them without falling yourself, and the blade is yours. <laughs> I would worry if you didn't. Well, go on. Ask your questions, child. <laughs> Only the very crude would call it necromancy. Yes, we reanimated the skeletons of fallen Khajiit, but always as a path to redemption. The Dromatra who possessed those bones did so to earn their way back to paradise. By fighting for their true spirited kin, victory illuminated the soul and loosened Namira's hold on them. When the noise of the dark faded, even for an instant, they would remember who they were. Then we sent them home, to the crossing. On the edge of eternity, Azura watches over the gates of the crossing behind the lunar lapis. It is a twilight realm where death's tide reaches the afterlife shore. Khajiit must pass through it before they reach what waits beyond. As I said before, it is a gift from our mother, Azura, and the greatest treasure of our order. Those who learn the Moon Knight Blade's discipline can cut through the boundaries between worlds and usher souls from one realm to another. We did, but despite the sword's power, Arum Kaul escaped to a place where we could not follow. The adepts who survived our war with the Lich made great sacrifices to further empower the Blade. But by the time we were done, none remained to wield it. Yes, it is. He twisted our powers to create something profane. We must use our powers to destroy it. Arum Kaul was one of my greatest pupils. Strong, very strong, and sharp as Boethra's tongue. Like you, he asked endless questions. Why, Mazamiri, why? Why, why, why? Why do we not aid more Dromatra? Why fear Namira if we bear Azura's blade? Why do we fear at all? My answers never satisfied him. He was fiercely loyal to Azura, but resentful too. Impatient, and powerful enough to doubt our warnings. 
When the time came to select a new steward of the Moonlight Blade, Azura chose another to wield it. Shandori, his friend and rival. Arun Khan grew furious. He cursed Azura and swore revenge on the mother who spurned them. Soon after, yes, he whispered lies to his fellow adepts, convinced them that Azura treated us as slaves and worse. Then came the battle. We did not realize what the room call had become when the fighting started. Now we know. The Dromathra approached child. Will you dance to the song of the dark? Will you close your ears? Galoragayo! <laughs> is just ahead. Behold, child, Shandori, guardian of the Moonlight Blade. Know that if you take the sword, you take an oath to destroy Arum Kal as well. Samiri. So, the fateful moment is upon us. It is, Shando. So, Mazamiri's champion arrives at last. Then the battle is upon us. Azura be praised. I am Shandori of the Hidden Moon. Together, we will destroy the dark spirit of Arum Kal. The Blade and I are one. Long ago, I turned away from the sands behind the stars, from paradise, and asked Azura to let me reside within this sword instead. Here, I will stay until Arum Kal has hissed his last. Patience, 
The blade has rested here for too long. My connection to Azura and the Lunar Lattice feels faint, weak. We cannot face Aram Kal until we restore the sword to its former strength. We should seek out this sword mender as soon as possible. Aram Kal has spent centuries plotting this escape. If he regains his full strength, even the powers of the Moonlight Blade may fall short. Yes, it does my heart good to see her again. She was my teacher. And after Aram Kal betrayed us, she became a dear friend as well. Mazamiri swore to safeguard the blade and the temple for as long as necessary. As always, she was true to her word. Hmm. Speaking about oneself is an act of vanity. I prefer to let my actions speak for me. As you wish. In life, I serve the Order as a defender of the Lattice and steward of the Moonlight Blade. Any dark creature that crept into this world fell by my hand. Arum Kal fought at my side for many years, but I failed to see the dark in him. Mist? or chose not to see. Banishing spirits brought him too much joy. A hidden moon adept's true calling lies in charity, humility, forgiveness. Our dominion over Kajiti souls made us guides and confessors. Violence was always a last resort. Arum Kal was my brother. I tried to... He would not see reason. He does not seek forgiveness or redemption. He thirsts for power and death and must be destroyed. On this subject, I will say no more. An ancient gift from our patron Azura. We prayed over it under the lantern light of Joan and Jode for six months before channeling my soul into it. The blade will not fail us. You have my word. It exists here on Nyrni, but not only here. I would say more, but simply describing the blade's power does it no justice. Restore the sword, champion. By the grace of Azura, all will become clear soon. <sighs> Dark Moons, has the faith truly withered that much? Azura is the mother of all Khajiit. She lifted us up and bound us to the Lunar Lattice. Hers is the gift of Jakaje, the eternal, unified spirit of our people, and all our perfect forms. Yes. Azura charged us with safeguarding lost souls and bringing them back to her embrace. Every soul of the Jakaje is sacred. I served her in life, I serve her still in death, and I will serve her in any life that is yet to come. You have the means to destroy Arum Kor now. Asura, watch over you. Take care of Shando, child. Each of you will need the other before the end. Brave Shando Ri will guide you now, child. But do not fear. Old Mazamiri will be watching.
Welcome back. A witch of Azura. Hmm. You bring worthy allies to this battle, sword wielder. And you've made a new friend, I see. Excellent. I didn't gather up any ancient spirits like you, but I did make a vital discovery. In studying the phylactery you destroyed, I identified three more orbs hidden deep within the temple catacombs. We should make destroying them a priority. The Moonlight Blade, eh? And I assume this spirit bound himself to the sword somehow. Fascinating. With this blade, and a wise spirit guiding us, we finally have a real chance at defeating Arumkal. Well done, my friend. Azura's will resonates within that moonlight blade, but it's so faint, like a voice at the far end of a darkened hallway, or the other side of a stone door. That's it! This sword, Arumkal's phylacteries, they're not vessels, they're gateways. I told you before, Arumkal's phylactery felt different somehow. Cavernous. Now I see it wasn't a vessel. It was a gate to another realm. A realm of horror that he controls. This moonlight blade serves as a gate too. A door to the afterlife. Hmm. Something about the enchantment. It's purposeful. Its strength seems tied to your new friend's will to serve. Fighting the undead with a sword near to hand might be enough to restore it. We'll need it fully charged to defeat Arumkal. The undead outside should provide the power you need. If you strike them down, I'm confident the sword and the spirit within will do the rest. You should share this with... Shandori, was it? I doubt he'll object. He seems more than ready to fight. The world you see is just a small fraction of all it is, my friend. Realms of oblivion, pocket dimensions, the ethereal plane, the orbis is incomprehensibly vast. But many pathways between realms do exist here in Pamriel. A good question. The Moonlight Blade clearly ushers Kajiti souls from one fate to another. The great darkness of Namira, or Kajiti Paradise, whatever that might be. The Riddlethar cult would have them believe that Kenathi, the Wind God, whisks their souls away to sands behind the stars. A sugary paradise. Oh, I have my doubts. The Hidden Moon Adepts revere Azura. I suspect they send redeemed Kajit to her. Somewhere else entirely. If my suspicions are correct, they connect to a plane of his own making. A twilight place where only dark spirits can thrive. To conjure up an entire plane of existence? It's an ambition that few mages have realized. I can't be sure, but the theory seems sound. The Hidden Moon Sword can draw souls from one realm and banish them to others. If anything can pry Arum Karl away from his source of power and destroy him, it would be a weapon like that. Comfortable? No, of course not. But life is full of little concessions. By all accounts, pride and malice corrupted Arum Karl's soul completely. He's beyond redemption. That doesn't leave us many options. I really can't be sure. If his hatred of Azura runs as deep as Mazamiri thinks, he might rain down miseries upon her followers, or seek to collapse her lunar lattice. In either case, the suffering here on Nern would be unimaginable. So, Arumkal's orbs lead to a shadow realm of some kind. Moon's mercy. Is he so desperate to be free of Azura, to be free of us, that he would cast himself into a prison of his own making? Enough of that. How can we strengthen the blade? In that case, it will soon sing with moonlight. Azura gave us this weapon to drive bent spirits back into oblivion. I am eager to do her good work again. 
So is the Moonlight Blade. Yes, Swordfielder. And may Azura bless our labors. The ancient texts tell us that when we pass on, we rejoin our mother Azura. She awaits us on the other side of the crossing and welcomes us home with open arms. In joining Azura, we also rejoin the Jakaje. The great well of Kashiti spirits. The eternal soul that binds one cat to another. Arumkal hates Azura and fears reunion with the souls of his people. That is why he created this dead realm of his. We will destroy it utterly. A darkness like Arumkal's cannot be cast out. We must end it. Permanently. Turning. Every dark spirit strengthens the blade's connection to the crossing. The bridge between Nirni and what lies beyond. but hunger. One day they will repent of their sins. Not today. So 
until we banish them back to the void. Gate won't budge. Speak to Shandori, would you? Azura's Gate. I had almost forgotten its beauty. No door bearing Azura's likeness is locked to the wielder of the Moonlight Blade. Once we enter the temple, we must look for Arum Kal's orbs. To destroy them, we must first defeat their protectors. Shades of Arum Kal. That task falls to you. They will try to flee back into the orb. But I will dance across the breach and destroy them on the other side before they escape. Without the shade to protect them, the orbs will shatter, and those doors to Arum Kal's realm will collapse. The power of the Moonlight Blade should dissolve the wards and allow us to enter the temple. Harness that power, and we can proceed. Slivers of Aramkal's soul, 
fragments of the whole that exist only to defend Aram Kal and his phylacteries. We thought they were simple animated shadows at first. We learned too late that they are much more than that. Only loose fragments, the width and breadth of Aram Kal's soul, it would burst the heart of most Khajiit. It will take much more than slaying these shades to bring an end to the Dark Adept. Which of Azura? Where will we find the Dark Adept's orbs? His corrupt stench billows out of the northern vault. The darkness gathers to the east and west, too. Then we strike east and west. Destroying those orbs should weaken Aramkal before our final attack. I can't risk approaching him while he remains at full strength. I'll do what I can from here. Azura guide you, my friends.
faith and loyalty. Destroying the orbs diminished Arumkal's power, but I don't know for how long. You have to strike now.
will not save you, brother. Another fields the Moonlight Blade. And they will share your fate soon enough. I arrived too late, damn. The veil is paper thin near the orb, friend. Use the Moonlight Blade. It might allow you to widen the breach. You can still catch him if you act quickly. Azura, upon all the spirits of my fallen kin, I pray, lend me strength. You... you followed? Azura be praised. My failure may not doom us after all. I hesitated, sword wielder. Despite all the years, all the sorrows, I still thought I could save him. Now, he prepares to reconstitute himself, to escape once again. <sighs> he is. I know he is. But, Moons, forgive me. I have such doubts. How could any Khajiit abandon Azura completely? Especially a Khajiit as great as Aram Khan. No, I cannot afford such thoughts. Not anymore. Good. Bring this tale to an end, my friend. Tighten your jaws, harden your heart, and strike true. You will defeat him. I know this, because despite his strength, your will is stronger. Trust in Azura. And in yourself. Moons guide you, Sword Wielder. Moons.
Well done, sword wielder. Come, we have little time. No, I can find them. There, the portal. We haven't much time. Reach for me. Do not worry for me, friend. Go. Shanto, he will not make it. Don't despair. I won't abandon them. Destroying Arum Kal's dark spirit destabilized this realm. You must go, Swordfielder, before it collapses. Do not worry for Shandori. Thanks to you, my vow to destroy the Dark Adept is fulfilled. I do not know. Arum Kal dealt my soul a terrible blow. What remains may simply disappear when the realm dissolves. I cannot be sure. What matters? is that we destroyed the Dark Lich's Blight and redeemed the Order of the Hidden Moon. No, I lack the strength to take hold of the Moonlight Blade as I did before. If Azura still has use for me, she may pluck me from this place. If not, then this is farewell. Strong will, sword wielder. You may not be a child of the Jakaje, but you fight like it. You wrestle fate with sharp claws and hissing words, just as we do. Now, go, my friend, and walk Azura's path. Emerge. No, I lost Shandori. I am sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. I trained Shando to face the dark. He will find his way. I am certain of it. You return victorious. What a relief. From this side of the portal, I could only see white flames flashing through the shadows. Even so, I'm confident you sundered Arunkal's spirit. I am sorry about Shandori. I just couldn't reach far enough. There may be one way, though it's not without risk. Arunkal's realm is one of absolute darkness. If I reach out for sparks of light, I may be able to gather enough to reconstitute Shandori's soul. Your friend's soul is so thoroughly shattered, I can't be sure that what I'm gathering is actually Shandori. Any sliver of spirit that's free of Arumkal's corruption will come through as well. Summoning unknown spirits is not always wise. Of course I am! When I give you the signal, hold the Moonlight Blade aloft. I'll draw the spiritual fragments through the sword, then send them on to realms beyond. Be ready to act if something other than Shando appears, all right? Stand in the ritual circle and raise the Moonlight Blade. I will do the rest. off your shadows and heed my call. Shandori is whole? Azura shows me mercy. Shando, is that you? Yes, brother. It's time to go home. It's so dark. I can't... Come. I will show you the way. So, Arum Kal wasn't beyond redemption after all. 
That's heartening. If a creature like the Dark Adept can rediscover the light, perhaps other lost souls can do the same. I think I'll stay here a while. The Adepts of the Hidden Moon still have a great deal to teach us, it seems. As for you, the Moonlight Blade remains in your care. Wield it justly, and never forget what we accomplished here. Azura guide you, friend. We may have sundered and redeemed Arumkol, but his thralls remain. Ushering those spirits back to oblivion will keep me busy for some time. As for you, you have Azura's eye now. She'll guide you to glory. You need only listen. It appears so, with our help, of course. You should be very proud, my friend. Bringing a person so thoroughly corrupted back to the light is practically unheard of. My conjuring ritual drew every speck of light from Arum Karl's realm of darkness. It appears that beneath all that evil, some kernel of Arum Karl's better nature remained intact. A discovery as startling as it is uplifting. On to the next life, I suppose. Perhaps to my lady, Azura herself. Wherever they go, they go together. And that is an encouraging thought. Well done, my friend.